This is Open EMR's Billing in a Nutshell. This is Sherwin speaking to you, and I'm going to go through this very quickly, but this will allow you to get your billing done and out the door to your clearing house so you can get paid. So, I'm starting with the billing manager. If you notice the list of criteria that I have here, under the criteria I have a list to unbilled, and I have nothing else in there. This is just to show you that there is no uh, claim billable in my system right now. And so this is where we're going to start. This is where we're going to come back to. Let me show you all the pieces that you need to have in place in order for you to get a claim out to your clearinghouse. A few pieces of information you need to have into your system. I'm going to go to the practice, practice settings. Insurance companies, you can put them in here, meaning you can preload your system with all the insurance companies that you know of that you're going to be using. And you can also put in your X12 or your clearinghouse. Your clearinghouse partner will go here. The information that you put in this form here is based on your clearinghouse criteria. You're going to have to talk to your clearinghouse. They'll tell you what information as far as your mutually assigned information is so that when you send the claim to them, it will process through their system. All right, so those two pieces of information you need. You can also enter insurance companies through the patient's interface. If you go to the patient's interface and you click on, and I'm going to say dashboard. I said interface, but it's also called the dashboard. So if I click on edit, and in the patient's dashboard, I can go here and I can click on add. And all I need to add is the city and state at a minimum, at a minimum, okay? So city would be uh, okay, state, and then that's all I need for, I can pick, since I might know some of this information, but those things can be done later by your biller. But just to get the information in the system, oh, I need a zip code. It tells me this. I'm putting in a bogus zip code, by the way. So I'm going to save that as new. And when it saves it, it will now become in my list of insurance companies that I can select from. If I select from the drop down here, self, this part of the form will auto populate with the patient's information because the patient is the ins is the one that's the beneficiary of the insurance claim. I can also add copay. Okay, and also on this side, I want to put in the plan, the effective date, policy number, and group number if there is one, and some of the other pertinent information that's going to be needed for the billing. I hope you're keeping up at this point. And once I click save, then remember in the dashboard, the dashboard remembers how you left it last. So if I expand insurance and billing, these things will be expanded the next time I go into any patient's chart. It doesn't matter who it is, they will always be expanded. Or if I have them collapsed, I will, or they will always be collapsed when I come back into a patient's chart. But anyway, you can see your basic information here. Yes, there is an eligibility tab, but we're not covering it in this video. So in this video, now that you have the basics in place, which is the insurance company and the clearinghouse, all you have to do in order to create a claim is one, you need to create an encounter. An encounter or, you'll hear me interchange this with the words visit. Visit or encounter, I'm going to create a seeing the patient today or their chief complaint. For now, we know that we're doing this. All right, so once I do that, save that information. Now, this is where all my documentation is going to be that supports why the patient was there and what did I do for that patient while I was there or client, whichever way you want to say it. You have your documents that you can fill out, but guess what? Documents are not absolutely necessary in order to push billing out the door. The only thing you need to have to push billing out the door is fill out this form, okay? And as you can see, uh, I missed it already. So I forgot to talk about codes. 
okay, because we need two things. The ICD 10s installed, as you can see for us, we have them already installed here. That's one piece of information. The other thing that we're going to need are the CPT codes. CPT codes, of course, are going to be specific to your practice and what type. In OpenEMR, there are no CPTs that come with the system. You have to manually enter them. So I went and got some, and I'm just going to enter them in as bogus stuff to put into the system. So I'm just going to grab one, put in a title, and I'm going to put in a code. Which in this case, it's going to be here. Also, if you need to put in hit picks, the immunization codes come with the system. Loin codes do not. You can see a list of code types that are defined in the system, but we're, we're not going to talk about categories in this video. We'll talk about them in a different video. But anyway, for the simplicity of getting CPTs in the system, I put in a CPT code, the number. If there is a modifier, I can add a modifier there, or otherwise I can add them later. And if I just click add as new right here in these little bitty words and one two three it added it so if I click search you well I don't have to click search you can see right there the 86890 is now in my system so when I go back to my encounter and it is a standard pricing level encounter we'll talk about those in a different video and my categories now, I could have chosen one of these as my CPT categories as well, but that wouldn't have shown you that there are no CPTs in the system. So if I choose a limited visit, you'll see that the system automatically loads up a CPT for me. Here it goes. I know my system is running a little bit slow. I'm not for sure why, but it just is. And I need to justify that with an ICD-10. I'm just going to put in something that is vaguely familiar to me which I'm going to do a search on the right. Once I do that search, you can see that it's going to reload the screen and tell me I have 61 items to choose from, and so I'm just going to pick one of those items. And it will load it to the screen. Now I can take and justify that to my CPT code, and of course put in my price, which is $95, okay, $96 for this. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, sorry, that's a different story. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and click save on this. And we are done with this part of the billing. Now we're going to go back to our billing manager and we're going to hit the refresh button on this one more time. And magically, delicious, there it shows up. This is where my claim comes into place. As you can see, I have my insurance company over here on the far right left right up under the patient's name if you can't see me click it I'm gonna click the drop down so it shows up and then also I choose my X12 partner now from this point here you want to make sure you scrub your claims so I'm gonna put a check in the box over there I'm gonna go here I'm gonna click generate X12 and I'm going to do the validate only once I do the validate only, I should get this screen here that shows me my claim that I'm going to be trying to send out, and then I'm going to click Logs. Logs is going to tell me what's missing, okay? So this is scrubbing the claim, so you make sure you have enough information to send it to the clearinghouse, and the clearinghouse will pay you for the visit from that patient. This is billing in a nutshell. This, I'm not trying to make this all-inclusive, but this is enough to drop that file because what happens next if we were to just go ahead and say hey we've cleaned up all that stuff then we can do generate x12 tell it continue and it will drop that file which you see over here on my left to my local machine now I can take that file and upload it to the clearinghouse and this is what it looks like so this is my file that will be going to the clearinghouse for me to get paid for the visit to the patient if you like any more information or if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. Give us a notification and thank you for watching. Bye.